Hi, I'm Kat and this is Pia. We're here at Refresh Yoga Center. Today we're going to be showing you modifications for step throughs. This will make sense once we show you a few times. Go ahead and come into Downward Facing Dog. It's a very common movement. It happens repeatedly throughout a vinyasa class is stepping one or both feet forward to the top of the mat. So when you're feeling nice and limber, stretched out, this can be fairly simple and straightforward. So take a nice inhale, Pia. And as you exhale, step your right foot forward in between your thumbs and lengthen. Exhale, step back. Now for a lot of us, our shoulders or maybe our hips don't allow us to swing that foot through quite so easily. easily. So she's gonna try today thinking she's a little bit tighter. So try that left foot, inhale. Exhale, step it forward, and doesn't want to go as far, so she'll just use her left hand, reach back, grab that ankle, and just assist herself to bring the foot closer to the top of the mat. When she feels steady, she releases the hand. And exhale, step it back. Sometimes when you're in a class that's moving fairly quickly, and you want to stay with the rhythm of the teacher or the rest of the class, you might want to grab some blocks. Go ahead and then take downward dog on the blocks. Don't be shy about doing this. Everyone is allowed to modify as they need. What this is gonna do is give her shoulders a little more space, a little bit more room for that foot to come through. So take a deep inhale and exhale, bring the right foot forward. Nice and easy, it feels very smooth. And then she can step back or she could continue with her regular vinyasa without missing a breath or a beat. Thanks.